What is up everyone? Welcome to Seth Lira Hustle. I just did my drop off at this location. Now I'm heading towards Denver, Colorado. Just thought I'd start the vlog because it's like, well, what if I end up going there finding Ron? Or if I go there and I have to relax for the night, you know, vlog that. And, uh, you know, maybe even if like with the search I find one for in the morning, you know, let you guys know. So I just thought, yeah, let's get cruising. Let's start this vlog. Thanks for coming along. The only reason I made this was to put content out there of people living this stuff because I was trying to find that when I was interested in getting into it. I couldn't find anything that was like a dude just doing it. Um, so anyways, let's get on the road. Um, that last one, I don't know if I even mentioned that broker was insane. Like I lost service for three hours and like, like he was freaking out so much that my dispatcher actually told him to chill and said, I'm more worried about my driver right now, like chill out. Like, he was, like, only caring about the freight, and it was, like, I lost service, but I couldn't, you know, get my, uh, couldn't restart my phone because, uh, couldn't have the GPS, you know, go away. But anyways, um, and my stuff kept falling and stuff, and that's why I'm, I need to get wrap, and I need to get, um, which I should have already known, and I need to get my own strap. But that I'm gonna get when I go home. But anyways, let's get on the road. I always go on tangents. Let's get on the road and let's go see how much more money we can make. And then me and my wife, after these longer runs, we're gonna do a breakdown of exact finances. Let's go. What's up you guys? I just went to a gas station over that way and it didn't have uh, any gas. They were all out of, out of service. So luckily this one was point four down the road uh over the bridge so i'm about to get gas right now um and fill up so then i can get i got like an hour or something left to colorado denver and then we can see what's popping look see them mountains over there oh yeah we're getting there okay we got one so it's from colorado about 45 minutes down to Missouri, Kansas City. Um, I'd probably get there at like 2 a.m. I'm taking it tonight. They said 7 a.m. they'd work with me and do that, but no, no, no. I'm going tonight. And two, when I got my New Year's resolution, I was 100, I was 245 pounds, 250, 253 a long time ago. And then I lost all the weight. Like I said, I've been in recovery eight years. I'll tell you guys a little more about me. And gained a bunch of this weight and then I lost it all and then now I got up to 210 because I was being naughty and like I always said I would never like when I was truck driving for that company but that was different I went home more well no now I'm home more being the boss because I just like literally go home when I want and stay home as long but when I'm out and about I was like I'll never get I started getting gas station food I'm up to 210 and it wasn't just from starting this for about two months now it was other things and so anyways no I, my new year's resolution I have not eaten bad yet I can try and get back down to 180. Um, but anyway, let's go. Let's get on the road. Yeah, it's a snowstorm, but you know, whatever, dude. I'd rather go get it, get there, even if it's three, four in the morning, and then I'm gonna sleep, chillax, sleep. No alarm type shit. I'll probably set an alarm, so I'm not asleep too long. But I'm going. All right, let's go. Let's get on the road. Never mind on that. The broker ended up saying that they're not open tonight. So 7 a.m. is it is it tomorrow morning? Um, but I'm gonna drive out that way, so I'm close to the pickup because to this area is not the best. You know what I mean? And I like being at a real truck stop, even though it's no sermon. I'm gonna get there so that I am closer i'm always like that i do that every time like i get right to the spot i'll be like 10 minutes away from pickup sometimes five minutes i'm a psycho like uh, today yesterday on my last vlog that you'll see i was supposed to be there at 245 i was there at 11 20. like that's how i'm at every pickup every delivery everything but that's good that's good for the broker good for the dispatchers good for yourself good for um but anyways let's get rolling i forgot to say this one's $400 for 403 miles. That's it. Almost forgot. But it's probably for the best that it's um, in the morning because I'll get to this area 45 minutes away in a better location because um, I got four kids and a wife. I ain't trying to be 
You know, like I said, I'm in recovery. I used to live a certain way. Um, but now I don't, and I have kids. Um, now someone's kicking a ball around. There was a guy whipping shitties behind me, and I was watching him because he was getting close to my truck, um, or van, whatever. Um, but I was gonna update you guys, it actually just changed. It, not for 400, for 403 miles. It was 403 miles now for 420 because they realized the deadhead because they pay for uh, my deadhead. Um, but anyways, yeah, now I'm gonna really take off and I, I don't know. Let's go. There's no rest stops or anything. I just pulled over on the side of the road. Really, I'm literally a minute away from my spot. But check this out. Look how much room we have for activities. We can do sit-ups, push-ups, maybe knee, whatever, knee extensions. But anyways, I'm gonna get my bed set up, get right back to you guys. Forgot to mention, this is my thick mattress that I added to my ensemble. But anyways, I'm gonna get it set up. I've had an electric toothbrush at my house forever. So, when I had regular toothbrushes, it wasn't cutting it for me anymore. Five, six bucks at Walmart and put it on the business account. Seriously. Because you want to stay healthy. That's why, I too, like I'm eating better this trip and I'm doing really good with that, too. I haven't touched nothing naughty. But yeah, I'm all ready. I got my mummy blanket, or I mean my mummy sleeping bag, got my blankets, comforters, got my thermal on, got my thermal jeans on. I stay good all night. Um, but yeah, anyway, so yeah, I'll get back to you guys in the morning. I'm literally like a minute down the road, but I'll get back to you guys in the morning. Well, as you guys know, I'm newer to this. I've only been doing it like, I don't even know, maybe two months now. But I asked some questions and pretty much got my answer. Some people say sleep wherever you want and then uh, talk to my dispatcher. And yeah, he said that you can get in trouble. Like, I'm like, okay. So I'm just going to head to this pilot. I called them. They said 15 bucks to park in the back. But he said with the weather being bad, yeah, you could just park up front for free. So I'm not going to vlog once I get there and get ready to go to bed. But... That's it. So I'm I'm heading out. It's 30 minutes down the road. It sucks. I'm a minute away from the facility, but just thought I'd update you guys. I that's something I'm learning as I'm learning. I could have stayed at the truck stuff I was at, but I just thought I'll oh, get there, get close, but stupid. Good morning. Yes, it snowed. Just a little bit. So I'm gonna go get some coffee and then I'm gonna head to my place and I'm gonna be like 40 30 minutes early when I went to go take off my snow cover um, <laughs> I accidentally went in here and turned on my windshield wiper so it like flung and hit into me but yeah it feel great I slept like a baby I woke up at 1 30 and couldn't go back to bed for a second and I'm like no 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 because that would have only been four or five hours again and then I passed back out till 5.30, which was nine hours of sleep. I needed it. So I'm gonna go get coffee and gonna hit the road to the pickup. Okay, cool, as you see, we're all loaded up. I'm gonna put a second strap, you know, so it doesn't slide this way either. I just, one of my straps had like a little knot in, so I'm gonna fix it up. So yeah, and the, the guy with the paperwork is gonna be here in like 10 minutes, so I'm just gonna chill. Um, Yeah, and then we will get on the road and go get this dropped off. So this one's for, like I said, 420, and it's like 403 miles, so good run. And then they're trying to get me one once I get there, but 
One was going to Florida that they were looking at for like 12, 1260, I think it was, in their area, and I was going to hang out with them. I haven't met them personally, but it's right in the area I used to live in Florida. Um, so, yeah, anyways, let's get this. It's all loaded up. Let's get on the road. That's it for this one i'm all unloaded um this was 420 dollars for 403 miles not bad um he just had to go make a copy usually i always have a copy you know place to give a copy this place didn't um and then people will just make the copy but now i'm heading towards kansas city area like midway between two points just to have more options they just messaged me about another one maybe um and that'll be a new vlog but this was a decent little one to make some money and you know so yeah, um, thank you for watching. Thanks for coming along on the actual living adventure of being a cargo van driver. And like I said, this isn't just about hustling as a cargo van driver. This is about just going out and doing what you want in life. And there's stressors me and my wife go through, but it's definitely better with the freedom of us choosing our schedule, choosing our life, being the owner, you know, it still trips me out when they say, uh, what's the company? And I'll say Musco Cargo and they'll be like, uh, yeah, but what company is that for or whatever or they'll be like where are you outfitted? I'll be like, oh, well, it's at it's my house You know or like when they ask those questions it's still weird. But anyways, anyone can do it Like I said, I've seen so many uh, uh, When I was getting into it so many youtubers saying you can't just st start a business and pick what you want to do They said you got to grind and not and I am grinding but Where I am selecting what I'm doing, but anyways, just go out and get it hustle do your thing uh, put God first and it should work out.